Okay, so in Sales Grid, you have a whole content system here, and everything you load to the content system um, is captured in Savvy's memory. So the AI knows everything about the content in here. So for example, um, for our demo here, we have um, our pretend um, company GE Aerospace. They have a lot of uh, content, as you can imagine, that's very technical. Um, you can upload any Office document or PDF to the content system. Um, so for example, all the uh, technical specs, information, everything here uh, is then learnt by our AI chatbot savvy. And you can also tag content, which also improves um, not the, uh, the search, so it adds keyword search in as well, or the metadata. Uh, and you've got a whole content system here for your salespeople to keep on top of all the important um, content. You can load all sorts of documents, so for example, you could actually keep track of your actual customer RFPs on the go. So for example, if Qantas was a customer, um, you, can keep, you can load up all the documents around Excel files. Uh, you can link to Google Drive, customer meeting transcripts, and so on. So Savvy will know everything that you've loaded uh, in here. Um, as you'd expect with any content system, you can... Uh, you can you can basically you have full admin rights around how you manage content. You can also have multiple playbooks. Um, we've only got one playbook here, but you can actually go to your playbook system here to also better categorize your content for the different steps in your bids management process or in your sales process. You can add additional playbooks. You can actually silo out the content into different playbooks for different groups in your team. So yeah, so that's uh, the first thing, all the contents loaded in. And once that content's loaded in, you can then actually uh, ask questions of, um, of, of the... Uh, uh, so for example, what is the most powerful engine in Geo Aerospace's range? Um, it's now gonna go through that content system to find the best answer and uh, play that back to you. Uh, not only does it give you the answer, um, so it gives you this uh, answer here. It also gives you the actual source from where that content came. So you can actually click on the source uh, to review that information. So that is an introduction to the content system.